Hi, it's John. This is a review of the Reliable Vision Incubator and Rearer uh, made by Reliable Thermostats Co. Limited, Bramley, Rotherham, Yorkshire. I got it at the auction um, a few months ago. I think it was £40. And I bought it basically for rearing, not for hatching because a friend of mine lent me his other incubator and I think it takes uh, says it takes about 40 chicks um, but you can actually get quite a lot more eggs in there uh, I, I put uh, I've just reared some off and I put about 42 eggs in there to a, a tray to a tray which uh, I put another tray on top and then you can turn it over and a half a tray I put in. So um, what you have to do then is, is to turn the eggs because there's no automatic turner. I don't know whether you can get a clockwork turner. So I had to turn them. I turned them first thing in the morning, last thing at night and about uh, four o'clock in the afternoon. During the 21 day incubation period I put these pots with water in put two in um, and that uh, for the humidity level it seemed to work all right the um, you've got a temperature control mechanism here which you can you have to control it with a thermos uh, with a thermometer and so you want it at um, blood heat near about 99 Fahrenheit 37.5 centigrade I seem to have difficulty getting it right at the right heat, and it wasn't my my heat wasn't accurate, and it tended to be slightly more, I think. On the top, it's got this warning: this channel gets hot when in use. Well, the reason it gets hot on the outside is because it keeps it warm, just warm on the inside, so they don't get too, the babies don't get too hot on the inside. Um, it's got this door here that opens and you can slide out the, the mesh here for cleaning and I've just cleaned it and it's got a, a little tray underneath that for um, taking the uh, droppings and I've just cleaned that as well. Obviously you keep this door shut when, when uh, when you're when you you when you're incubating things, oh. and it's got um, two sort of sliding things on the top, clear perspex, um, so you can see in. There's one to go on the one to go on this side as well, which is just the side there. So you may be asking, how did I get on with the hatchings? Well, as I say, I think it was about 42 eggs, and I think it was 27 live birds. I think two died, and then 12 I took to the auction at um, three or four days old, and they sold for, I don't know, about £14 or something like that. And then these ones I kept. And I think there's about 15 there, and they're just in the box at the moment, just waiting to go back into their their um, incubator, the vision incubator, uh, which they'll be in for a little while, a little while, a few more days, until I sort out what I'm going to do with them. I mean, I'll be keeping them, but uh, where I'm going to put them? They're just going through that sort of slightly nervy stage at the moment. Um, they're just getting their wing feathers so they can hop now a little bit. That's why I've decided to sort of clean them up and things. And Helen's coming back tomorrow and then we'll sort out what we're going to do, where we're going to put them. Um, so as I say, there's fif about 15 there. And uh, and there was about a dozen eggs that, that didn't hatch. So it was, um, I, was I was quite excited, well I was very excited actually. Um, and the auction just worked out right at the right time to sell the to sell a number because um, 
so that 27 would have been a bit of a, a handful. And um, so what, what happens with these is they, they, they sort of go through a little sort of frightened stage and that, that will go on now for about um, two minutes and then they'll come out of it and then they hear a noise again or something like that and they'll go another fire stage. It's all about learning new noises and things. Anyway, I'll put them back in now. Right, they're back in there now. Back in the familiar. Um, and uh, they're happy. They're happy now. Right, bye for now.